Hiya goblins and ghouls, welcome to my YouTube channel, Josh of Many Things. My name is Josh and I like to do many things. In today's video, you're going to watch as I turn a cluttered hallway closet into a functional vocal booth for voiceover work. Sit back, relax, and watch me struggle. Now on to the video. So I was removing this um, bar here that had all the clothes on it. I found out that it extends. So what I think I'm gonna do is take that and mount it right around here. There should be some solid wood right there that I can mount it to. Have it go across so I can hang a blanket in front of the door. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I have are these little clips that I've gotten from, uh, from Lowe's. Got a little alligator teeth on them. And so I'm gonna take these and see if they will slide over this. Of course not. Okay, give me a minute, let me see if I can figure this out. So, after an embarrassing amount of time of trying to fit this over this side, over this side, over here, uh, trying to pry up the pins that keep this plate on so I can take it off, um, yeah, okay, so there's those on this rack. Grab my blanket and see how tall I can make this. Uh, then I'll mark that and then we'll put the screws back in and I'll show you that whenever we get that up. Very scientific. We're on the top of the blanket. Yeah. I think I'm going to do here. But since I know that is where I want the like it to be, so I'm going to move one of these alligator clips over and lift it up, kind of put it somewhere close to where the inside of the hinge is. Oh, you suck at this! 
ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's just a small gap at the bottom, but whenever I put the uh, mat in here, I have a, a foam workout mat, I'll put that in here and that will then be pretty close to right on. So, perfect. Next up, I guess we'll start doing the, the foam for the walls. Okay, so I have finished doing this wall. Oh, I need to fix that. There's a gap there. This wall and part of the back wall. Next, I need to do this center section uh, after I fix the, fix the gap. I see it right there. Right there. I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to fix that and maybe see if I can't fix that one down there too. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but yeah, the center section, it's not, it's, it's smaller than a full panel. So I, was, I decided to do the sides first and then I cut. And I'm pretty sure all I'll need to do is uh, just trim off like right here on one of them. And I think that'll fit pretty good, but we'll find out whenever I get to it. Uh, I got that center part done. I was wrong and ended up having to cut in half right down the peaks here. And I didn't like the way it looked when it was in the middle, so I ended up taking everything on this side and everything on this side and moving it over and then taking the half peaks and tucking them back up underneath here so it kind of hides it a little bit. I also went ahead and added a little bit of foam up here and my base traps there. I added two more pieces here and here. I took the rest of the foam I have and I stuck it up there for right now just to fill up that cavity. So next what I'm working on is putting this exercise mat in here. I'm gonna cut, cut it so it fits perfectly. Um, so we've got two pieces here. It had been one giant piece, but it definitely did not did not fit well. So let me set everything back up, and we will go ahead and give this a cut here, and then figure out how we're going to cut that one and stick it in here too. All right. Okay. And that is what it looks like when it's all done. Got a nice thick. And that down there is probably about half an inch thick, so nice and squishy. Should help a lot. Okay, so next up, let's start putting some stuff in here, maybe. No, no, let's put the uh, put the blanket up. Yeah, that's what we do next. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay. 
do that. Okay, so we've got added a blanket up to the top. Uh, it's attached with some clips onto a tension rod I put up here. And then I just used some thumbtacks to tack it up above that. I might adjust it so that this is a little bit tighter, but. So I might try to re tack it. Uh, get some of this slack out of here, give me a little bit more headroom, but uh, we'll see. But next up, we are going to add some LED, LED lights, make it all pretty in here, I guess. Okay, there you guys have it. Um, that is the build. It took me an afternoon, not too bad. But I guess the big question is, how does it sound compared to the uh, it just empty closet, right? So let's give it a shot and find out. Let's grab my. Okay, first things first, let's turn on my recorder. And this is gonna be all of the same um, settings. I haven't touched anything. So let's give power to the microphone. Testing, testing. This is a test. This is a test. Okay, let's record. Let's make sure I had sound. Yep, there it is. Okay. Aren't you forgetting something? This is a test of the closet 
the, this is the audio of the closet with zero soundproofing or sound, sound treatment. It's not going to be soundproof, but just to give you an idea of how echoey it is in here. Testing, testing. This is a test of the new closet studio. Oh, there you guys go. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I am, if you guys want me to go over what equipment I'm using for this uh, recording booth, let me know. I still obviously need to dial in all of my, my settings. I don't know. God, I haven't I haven't used this mic in a long time, but um, <clears throat> if you guys want me to to give you guys an actual tour of all my equipment and uh, whatnot, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you found this um, video entertaining, uh, or you learned something, or if you have any questions, uh, I would really enjoy if you uh, liked or subscribed. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys. Uh, have a good day.